how tejasvi will react for mara story blindly believe that god exists today and you are trying to waste one liter of wood milk why do you want to waste it go to the forest and search by yourself author knew about this medicinal creeper if they share the knowledge with the next generation they would lose or the medicines would lose the potency hello hi namaste and welcome to vidyashram temple of excellence i am nand kishore faculty of english in vidyashram mysore in my previous session i was discussing about the chapter around the medicinal creeper written by purnachandra tejasvi and in my two sessions i had discussed about mara's three stories let me just give you a recap about mara's three stories in the very first story remember he goes to the doctor of huli indalu by cutting his hand and getting a nice scolding from doctor of huli indalu the second story is about how he lost all his right side teeth and how he tried different sticks from different medicinal creeper the third story very interesting story he says that he and his friend hunted the wild barking deer and they divided the meat between themselves and then after going back to home while his wife was preparing to cook a delicious meal mara opens the meat which was covered by the leaf and surprise of surprises what will you find there he finds the real wild buck which has come back to life and what did he do after it looks at mara it just jumps out and runs away from the house and meanwhile mara's wife carelessly just takes out those leaves and puts it in the fire now let us see in this session how tejasvi will react for mara's story so let's start with today's session speechless who is speechless here tejasvi says i was speechless i was dumbstruck how could the dead wild deer come back to life how can it come back to life just because the meat was covered by some creeper's leaf will the dead animal come back to life and mara says yes according to him in the forest there are creepers which can get back the man's youth and don't you think that there is a leaf or the creeper which can get back the dead animal into life that is what mara says to tejasvi for this tejasvi is totally dumbstruck he doesn't want to act or he doesn't want to ask him any more questions what would happen if he asked question i am sure that mara would just tell another story for the same story what he has told before and that will irritate tejasvi even more and let us see what tejasvi told in this in this part now author was speechless after listening to mara's story tejasvi did not ask for any elaboration as i told you he doesn't want to ask if he just moves on and asks really how come then mara would definitely come up with one or two more stories how this creeper would help the dead animal to come back to its life so he did not ask for any, any elaboration or explanation because this was the height of his inventive genius he says inventive genius and tejasvi further moves on he believed that it was no wonder that doctor of huli indalu was prepared to give away his entire estate in exchange for these wonder plants tejasvi is answering himself there is no wonder that doctor english doctor in huli indalu was so mesmerized was so dumbstruck that he really believed the mara story after looking at mara's blood stains on the clothes english doctor really believed mara and he took mara to the forest to identify the creeper after mara failed to identify that remember english doctor took out his gun and pointed at him and told i am just going to shoot at you if you don't if you don't tell me the truth but mara just falls on his feet begs him not to shoot and just leaves the spot from there as the chapter continues conscience so what is this consciousness what does this conscience mean tejasvi he was not just neglecting or not just leaving mara stories 
to be left alone somewhere in the corner of his mind he is telling it to himself that isn't it true somewhere i feel why not mara story be true can it not be true is it possible that mara had told at least a bit of truth in his story we all know as a reader we all know that mara is telling lies and stories upon stories which is not true and which cannot be true but who knows let me just give you an example how many of us or how many of you have seen god but we blindly believe that god exists today it's just because the wonders that are happening around the world likewise the medicinal creeper is doing some wonder in mara's life and not just mara's life as we proceed further in this chapter even apanna one of the characters is seen tying this creeper to the nearby plant and saying the same words mara told everybody tejasvi says that most of the people i have seen in the sense tejasvi says that he has seen most of the people identifying this creeper tying it to a nearby plant and saying the same words what mara told and he also claims that he had not seen anybody going back to untie those creepers so there is some consciousness going on in tejasvi's mind that can it be true or can it be false we don't know it yet it has been a long time since author sold his estate and mara is also dead and gone now as tejasvi is writing his story he says that it has been a long time very long time even mara is dead it's been a long time he sold his estate author is in dilemma to reject all of mara's stories as they kept bothering tejasvi's conscience and he doesn't want to reject those stories as bankam bankam is nothing but sense which doesn't make sense senseless story or just like bullshit in simple words what we call it is not even bullshit we don't want to believe those stories because it doesn't make any sense can you just find a creeper just imagine what would the medicinal field do if they come across such plants in today's generation if medicinal committee or if medicinal entire group or so called medicine group if they come across such plants what do you think they would do they will just mint money they will not let the secret out to the world in fact they would just give the picture the total picture to the people in different way and they will not say that this comes out of natural plant because there are people because there are local medicinal doctors who can still find out such creepers and they will not let out the secret instead they will just change it into english medicine and they will mint money the total disinterest that mara showed in trying to argue with us or convince us for that matter to lie or tell the truth continue to bother us he says it continues to bother us it's still bothering us because mara has got nothing to do with earning money mara has got nothing to gain or to lose only thing that he kept telling was stories upon stories stories after stories all he wanted to do was he wanted to convince tejasvi he wanted to convince other people that there are creepers in our karnataka in western ghats in our country which can cure any disease there are a lot of medicine according to this chapter purna chandra tejasvi is not mocking at mara here he is not just pulling the legs of mara he, he just didn't do it instead he is trying to give away the idea of finding such medicinal creepers or medicinal plants which are filled with medicinal qualities it is our responsibility to save the forests are we saving it no we are not we are totally into fashion world we want to have a beautiful furniture the carvings if somebody visits your house all they want to do is to praise you you want praisings from those visitors who visit your home which is done by wood you don't want any other thing lot of furniture which is being produced today which is being manufactured today it is made out of wood how many trees how many millions of acres of trees are we chopping today we are bringing down billion years old or maybe 100 years old for sure if not billion years old 100 years 200 years 500 years old trees we are bringing down in a fraction of second we claim ourselves to be technologically advanced but what are we doing for the nature we are getting everything from the nature just take the instances of corona virus 
Why is it happening? It's because Chinese people, they are eating everything they come across. How is it possible? It is not, I, I, I don't believe that. It is an experiment which is conducted inside the lamp and, and it, it just came out to the environment or it just came out of the lab and millions of people are dying today. I don't, I don't think so. Anything that is happening in and around the world, it is happening. It's because how we treat the world. We are getting everything from the world, but we are not giving back. We are not giving even an inch. We, we came from this very dust. According to science, we are not the production of the gods or, or, or any other people. According to science, we are just molecules we, where we have emerged from the very dust of our earth. We are receiving so many things, but we are not giving even a single thing. So Tejasvi is giving a clear idea to the reader. So let us not hope. And with these words, he says that we cannot come to a conclusion that Mara is false. His stories are false. We don't have any authentication to prove him wrong. And as the chapter goes on, we get to know that this medicinal creeper is indeed medicinal quality, which has medicinal qualities and it can cure something, if not everything. According to Mara stories, definitely this medicinal creeper, and that is the reason we call medicinal creeper, around the medicinal creeper, thus this entire story is revolving around the medicinal creeper. So Tejasvi just giving a hint to the readers. Now what is the truth? The truth, I have mentioned the truth. What is the truth about this medicinal creeper? After a long time, Tejasvi writes, again he writes, it, it might be after 5 years or 6 years or 10 years, but we don't know how many years. But he writes, after a long time, Mara's medicinal creeper was back in the news. This time, I saw Appanna. Remember, Appanna is also one of the characters in this chapter. I saw Appanna tying it to a nearby tree. I asked him whether he knew its uses. So as the chapter goes on, there is a twist upon twist, twist after twist. And Tejasvi is so mesmerized, he has not just seen Mara doing this, he has not just seen Sanna praising this creeper, he has not just seen Appana doing it. Later on, he gets to see one more character trying to dig the same plant here. Now, this time he looks at Appana and he asks, have you seen or have you ever heard anybody talking about this plant or this creeper trying to cure or which has cured any diseases or any disease in particular or how it is useful or why it is praised so much by people and why people are so bothered about this creeper and especially when they find it one such thing they do every time is they will just take this creeper tied to a nearby plant and they will tell keep lying here the thief this will not be found when you need it so he did not know who is he here Appana. Appana did not know he says i believe if you squeeze this is very important i believe if you squeeze the the juice of these leaves in milk it becomes hard he said so if you squeeze the juice or if you just squeeze the leaves to the milk in the, in the milk it becomes hard what becomes hard the milk the milk will become hard have you seen it happen Tejasvi is very curious oh is it so okay this is something new i have heard till now i heard people saying that this creeper will not be found when you need it and this creeper is cursed by the sage and this creeper is that and this creeper is this but for the first time Tejasvi gets to hear something. What is that? If you squeeze the leaves or if you squeeze the juice to the milk, the milk will turn hard. Now Tejasvi is very curious. Have you seen it happen? Do you have first hand experience? And he says, that is what people say. Where can I find milk for all such experiments? He replied. Because Appanna is a helping hand. He's a farmer. And he says, if I have so much of milk, maybe I can feed my kids or I can drink it myself. Where will I find milk to experiment such things? For such things? I don't know. So Tejasvi, now he decides to experiment it. Experimentation. 
So finally, he what he does is he just goes to the creeper, goes to the plant, and he just plucks some leaves from the plants or the creeper. I plucked some leaves from the creeper and took them to my friend Chandru, one of the characters. One mark question: Who is a plant pathologist? Who is Chandru here? He is a plant pathologist and decided to conduct experiment. So this will be asked for one mark question: Who is the plant pathologist mentioned in around the medicinal creeper? Or what was the occupation of Chandru? mentioned in around a medicinal creeper so they got they are going to just ask you the twisted question so depending on the question you need to write the answer so who is he he's a plant pathologist and what will tejas we do now he will just pluck the leaves out of this creeper and goes to chandra other scientists remember when you want to do something when you want to achieve something people will just laugh at you this is one such example here so Tejasvi has somehow decided that I am going to do experiment. Let it happen. At most, what will I lose? I will just lose. I will just miss out, or maybe I will just you know waste one liter of good milk. It's fine. These other scientists, right? Tejasvi's friends, they are looking at him and they are saying, "You mad fellow! You have no good job to do. You are listening to all sort of nonsensical stories." And you are trying to waste one liter of good milk. Why do you want to waste it? Tejasvi's friends are laughing at him. And Tejasvi says that when he has already decided to be fool, right? Let it be. Let people think I am fool. It's fine. Only thing they can do is they will sit and look at me doing something. If it is waste, I will consider myself a fool. It's fine. I lost or I just spoiled one liter of good milk. But if I succeed, what will happen? I can just tell them or maybe I can just be proud about myself that I have done some experiment or at least I can just answer my conscience. I can just be answerable to myself instead of just sitting in one place like a couch potato and just thinking had I been experimenting it about the medicinal creeper that this no at least I am trying something new. So he decides that he is going to do it. Once we had decided to play the fools, he says, we couldn't care less about others laughing at us. It's fine. At most, they are going to laugh at us. It's fine. No issues. Experimentation process begins now. How will they experiment? The process of experimentation. What will they do? How will they do? We put the milk and leaves into a mixture and switched it on. So they are going to put both leaves and milk. After they were thoroughly mixed, we poured it out into a vessel. Remember, they have thoroughly mixed it. The creeper's leaves are completely chopped into pieces and it is mixed with milk. And once we are done with it, we poured it out into a vessel. We watched for some time to see whether it would come curdled or remain as it was. Curdled here, rubbery. Remember the curd, how the curd looks, it becomes rubbery. Once you add a scoop of buttermilk into milk, it turns curd. Or if you just don't know what how it curls, just remember the jelly bean, jelly, how it moves. It's just like it's very rubbery. Nothing happened for a couple of minutes. Just as I decided that, that we had indeed wasted a liter of good milk, I touched it again. Now Tejasvi is just saying it to himself, oh my dear God, what did I do? What happened? The moment my friends are laughing at me that I am wasting a one liter of good milk. I have just proved it right. But it had become firm and rubbery. It had not failed. When we inverted the vessel, the whole thing fell out like a molded cast. It's just like how you get jelly. You just unwrap it and just pour it on your hand or in the vessel. And you, once you pour it, it becomes like rubbery. It will be shaking. So that's exactly how this mixture has become. Now, Tejasvi is sure that indeed it has got some quality. Why? It's because maybe the taste of this leaf is a bit sour or maybe it's a bit bitter. So obviously, when you add something sour or bitter to the milk, it will turn curdled. It turns rubbery. Now, what did it exactly cure? 
Now we got to know that people were tying this creeper to a nearby plant. Mara has told stories after story. Aparna was also doing the same thing. Ultimately, believing the words of Aparna, he went on experimenting and he has succeeded somehow. But still he is not sure, still he is not satisfied. What will it exactly cure? Or what disease or what diseases did it cure? He doesn't know that. Author is sure that the creeper had some qualities. He wondered which disease or diseases it cured. Just like Mara, all the people go around tying this creeper to the nearest plant and muttering, stay here. Everybody does it. Stay here, stay here, stay here. Author says that nobody has, I have seen nobody going back to the creeper and untying it and making use of those creepers. I have not seen it. Author confines that he had not seen anyone actually going, you know, going back. Actually, go back to untie it and take it home for some ailment, some uses. He has not seen it. Tejasvi records in his own writings. He says, I have not seen even a single person going back and untying it and taking back home and doing something out of it. So Tejasvi is saying that I did something and I got a first hand experience now. Sikh Krishna. I told you while discussing about the character about Krishna. Now who is this Krishna? Krishna, the erstwhile farmhand, erstwhile in the sense, farmer, one who used to work in Tejasvi's farmland. Erstwhile farmhand who worked in author's farm had stopped working in the estate sometime and was driving a rickshaw, went to author, looked pale and breathless. Now, Krishna was working in this author's farmland long before. After he gave up being a farmer, he was a rickshaw driver and after many years, he has come back to meet Atta. And how did he look? He looked pale and breathless. He started passing blood with his stools. So while going for the motion, right, he was passing blood. So author gets to know some idea that he might be having piles. As far as I knew, only allopathic treatment for piles was surgery. So he is just answering himself. He didn't tell Krishna, right? Now why has Krishna come to meet author here? It's because he wanted to take some money from the author to go and meet the doctor because he was passing blood with his stools. So while going for the motion, he is passing blood. So he didn't have enough money to go to the doctor and get consulted. So he has come to Tejasvi in order to buy some money or to take some money. You know, like it's like taking the debt from the author. So Tejasvi is feeling very sad about Krishna. God man Malayali Sadhu. God man Malayali Sadhu. This God man is very important here. Why? Because when Krishna was sick, not now, now he is sick, very sick. Why? Because he is passing blood with his stools. But long before, Krishna was getting boils all over his body. Getting boils. So this sickness, this boils was cured by this God man Malayali Sadhu. How? This God man had treated Krishna on an earlier occasion. Krishna had developed boils all over his body. The God man had given Krishna the bark of some tree. This is very important. This could be asked for four marks in your examination. How did the God man Malayali Sadhu cure Krishna's boils or cure Krishna's disease? And you need to write both the instances here. And both the instances are very similar. Don't get confused. The first instance is that the God man had given Krishna the bark of some tree which he was supposed to crush and mix with ducks eggs and eat with what he had to mix it with with ducks egg and what will he mix bark of some tree and the full course of treatment was 10 days the full course of treatment was 10 days the treatment worked and he never got boils again he never got boils ever again in his life so that was the earlier occasion. But how will he cure the present situation now, the present sickness now? The present sickness is Krishna has got piles. According to author, 
Krishna has got piles. So what will Krishna do now? After he consults the doctor, the doctor suggests him to undergo the surgery. Now Krishna is very scared. He doesn't want to go and get operated in order to cure his piles. So what will he do? He will again go back to Malayali Sadhu. So how will he cure it now? Now Krishna went to the same God man who had become too old now. Remember, while treating his earlier disease, Malayali Sadhu was very young. But now he has grown too old, too weak. He cannot get up and walk. Apparently, he told Krishna that he did not have the strength to search for the plant, but that he would describe it. Malayali Sadhu tells Krishna, my dear boy or my dear man, I don't have enough strength to get up and go and search for the plant or the medicine in order to cure your disease. I can just describe the medicine or the plant. All you have to do is go to the forest and search by yourself. Krishna had to search and dig out the tuberous root. So what is he digging out for? He is digging out for tuberous root. Mix it with milk. Don't get confused. The previous occasion he mixed the bark of a tree with duck's egg. But this time he had to mix tuberous root with the milk with the milk and drink the medicine for five days earlier occasion 10 days but this occasion only five days so what will be the result after this krishna will try finding out this medicinal creeper now remember the medicinal creeper mara spoke about remember the medicinal creeper mara told the stories about three or four stories continuously remember the medicinal creeper apana was talking about remember the very medicinal creeper Chandru and Tejasvi experimented on the same medicinal creeper was described by Malayali Sadhu and when Krishna goes in search of the very medicinal creeper the next day while Krishna was searching for this plant author heard the description and took him near the plant because author knew about this medicinal creeper he knew exactly how it looked so he is just lending a helping hand for Krishna to identify the medicinal creeper here. Both had to dig quite a bit to get the tuber. So once they dig deep enough, they will get the tuber under this medicinal creeper. Krishna drank it with milk and within five days, his piles improved and completely cured in five days. Five days. So that is how powerful the creeper is or creeper was. Now let us see what happens. Krishna bid goodbye to his job as a rickshaw driver. Now he is completely cured. Remember how much money he had to spend. Tejasvi says if he goes to the doctor to get the surgery, then he has to get surgery, get operated. He had to get admitted in the hospital. He had to take a lot of medicines in order to cure his cuttings and operations and everything. So that means he had to spend a lot of money on his health. So instead of that, Krishna chose Malayali Sadhu and he is completely cured within just five days. So the medicinal creeper proved to be very medicinal and each and every inch of its creeper is filled with medicinal qualities. That is why Mara was praising this medicinal creeper to the skies. Remember, all these words are very important. You need to just construct your own answer by picking up important aspects, by picking up important scenes out of this chapter. The strange result. So what is this strange result here? The strange result is that, remember both Krishna and author had dug up the tuberous root. And author, he could not stop himself from eating a piece of tuberous root. So what it is, while both dug the root, even author ate, even author ate a small piece of it just as to see how it tasted. It was slightly bitter. The tuberous root is bitter. Maybe the leaves are a bit sour. This root had cured author's heel pain and swelling next to the bone of his heel. There is a big ball like structure, the bone in your feet. Just Touch your feet towards right or right side or the left side. There will be a ball-like structure which has popped out of your heel. 
and author says that popping out of like a ball structure had to be operated and author writes in his own description saying that I had consulted a doctor and doctor had told me that it had to be surgically removed and if I had to walk for a longer distance then I started limping. So this was both of this pain that he was undergoing. The author was undergoing both pain here. What is it both pain? If he had to walk for longer distance then the heel, the actual heel started to pain and he had to limp and walk. And apart from that, he had a ball-like structure, there was a swelling. A ball-like structure means swelling on his right heel bone. So that had to be operated and surgically removed according to the doctor. But after eating this, it had given him a strange result. The surgeon had said that it had to be surgically removed. But what happens later? The author is in fixation to believe the results of creeper. Fixation is in a delay manner. Is it possible? Is it because of that creeper? I am fine now. I am not able to you know, limp anymore. I am able to walk. And that swelling on my heel has reduced automatically. He believes it could be purely accidental. Author is not completely convinced. An author, he doesn't want to come to a conclusion. He doesn't want to jump to the conclusion saying that, yes, indeed, the creeper is medicinal qualities. No, he doesn't want to do that. He is just cross-questioning himself. Maybe it is purely accidental. There are possibilities. It might be purely accidental. Maybe his body had antibiotics that helped him to cure his swelling on his knee or his heel. Maybe it's because of that. Author keeps wondering, about who would do research on various swelling that appears on human body. He is talking about various swellings. Few people, if you just go to the rural side, they will have swelling on the forehead, they will have swelling on the cheek, they will have swelling on ears, they will have swellings on hand. Most, most importantly, if you get to see few people, their nerves will be completely swollen. Hands and legs, it will be so thick, like ball-like structure. An author is questioning the readers who will have so much of time to experiment on all these swellings which will appear on human body. For people like Mara and he also says for people like Mara research is of no importance at all. And he then says this is very important even the Malayali godman shared his knowledge with Krishna only because he was too old and weak. He is just giving the readers a hint how the local medicinal doctors behave. If Malayali godman or if Malayali sadhu would have been very young or if he had had enough energy to go to the forest by himself and search for this medicinal creeper, he definitely wouldn't have told the description to Krishna. Isn't it true? It is actually. And Tejasvi says, he comes to the conclusion. At the end of this chapter, he comes to the conclusion saying that why is that we are lacking so much of knowledge about our own plants which is lying in the garden, in the backyard? Who knows? We have come from the village side. I have come from village side and I have a lot of farmland in the village. And being a farmer's son, I will definitely fail to identify the medicinal creepers or medicinal quality plants because I don't know. Why? It's because my parents don't know or my great grandparents or my grandparents, they didn't know that. If they had taught me about the medicinal qualities, about the creepers or the plants which are lying in the backyard, which are lying in the farmland, possibly I would have been very good about the medicinal plants. I would just make use of the plants available which is very handy. It is lying just behind or just in front of us. Why would we just go to the English doctor? Why would we prefer English medicine? And why is nobody sharing it? Why even the local doctors are not sharing it? We call them Nati Vaidyas. The Kannada term used in local language is Nati Vaidyas. Nati Vaidyas don't possess any degree. They, they have not possessed any PhD or MBBS or Ayurvedic. They have not done it. All they have is first hand experience or maybe the information or the knowledge which is passed by their forefathers. They have inherited it. Even today if you visit rural side, village side, you will find lot, lot of Nati Vaidyas who are far better than 
English doctors. I can prove it. There are plenty of Nati Vaidyas, local doctor, local medicine doctors who can cure your disease. But how good are they with the knowledge they possess now? Because it has been inherited, it has been passed on by many a generation and they might have a bit of generation or a bit of information, a bit of knowledge about the knowledge which has been passed by their forefathers. So with that amount, they might fail to be a very good doctor, they might fail to cure your disease. And author says the same thing. One of the problems is that these native doctors, local doctors, believe that if they told others about their medicines, the medicines would lose their potency. Author is not sure why they are not sharing the information with the next generation, but his rough guess is maybe they are not telling it because they believe if they share the knowledge with the next generation, they would lose or the medicines would lose the potency. Because of this belief, India's native medicinal systems are on the verge of extinction. With next few years, within next few years, who knows? We being, let me just tell you one important fact. I have heard and read a lot of stories where village women are very well equipped with the knowledge about the plants lying around in the streets, lying around in the forests. And what will the English medicine do? And what will the English doctors do? All they do is they will secretly go and meet these village women. They will extract the information just paying 10,000 or few hundreds or few thousands. We don't know. But I've heard people saying it. And they were just paid 10,000 or 20,000 maybe. And they will extract the information. They will just take all these medicinal qualities, all these medicinal aspects, all these medicinal creepers, all these medicinal plants and they will go abroad, they will just take, the, you know, the license, patentship, it's called patentship, they will take the patency, and they will mint millions of dollars, and who will consume it? We. We have it, we see it every day, but still, the medicine which is lying in front of us, for free of course, we don't want to try it. Instead, we want to go to the medicine, or we want to go to the clinic, we want to go to the shops medicinal shops and we want to pay a lot of money hard earned money and buy the english medicine why are we doing it for the food habit for the culture for the daily lives or daily habits that we are inculcating in our lives are we going to be alive for the next 50 years i really doubt and i had read a whatsapp message let me just tell you what it read. It read like this, that we are using actual lemon for the finger bowl while we go to a restaurant. But in order to drink the juice, we are using artificial flavor, lemon flavor for the drinks that we are drinking. Think about it. Where, where are we using this natural lemon? Natural lemon is, is so good. It has medicinal qualities. Obviously, it has both positives and negatives, pros and cons. But it is true that it contains at least a good quality of medicine. And where are we using it? In order to just wash our fingers. Finger bowl. Isn't it true? WhatsApp messages might be fake at times. But most of the times, I get very informative messages that this message is very true. So that's it for today's session. Let us meet in the next session. In my next session, I will be discussing about the chapter Urmanushan, written by Waikam Muhammad Bashir. Until then, have a good day. Thank you.